question is if p and q are the lengths of the perpendiculars from the origin so they are the lengths from the perpendiculars from the origin to the straight line x secant alpha plus y cosecant alpha equal to a this is the straight line from the point p okay p and the q straight line is x cos alpha minus y sin alpha is equals to a cos 2 alpha then we should prove that for p square plus q square is equals to a square okay so given p is equals to perpendicular distance from origin to the line x secant alpha plus y cosecant alpha is equal to a bringing a this side so it is x secant alpha plus y cosecant alpha minus a equals to 0 so the perpendicular distance we have the formula so it is a x1 plus b y1 plus c by root of a square plus b square so the origin is always 0 comma 0 so x1 y1 will be 0 0 so substitute in this formula this is our a this is our b and this is c and this is x1 y1 substitute here so it is p is equals to mod of secant alpha into 0 plus cosecant alpha into 0 minus a by root of secant square alpha plus cosecant square alpha so here this is 0 this is 0 so minus a mod minus a by this we have to convert in sine and cos so it is secant square theta is 1 by cos square alpha plus cosecant is 1 by sine square alpha so it is mod minus a by root of LCM so here goes the sine square and here comes the cos square so it is sine square alpha plus cos square alpha by sine square alpha into cos square alpha so minus mod a by root so this will become 1 right sine square theta plus cos square theta identity is 1 so it is 1 by sine square alpha into cos square alpha so root 1 is 1 and this square gets cancelled with the square so it is p is equals to removing the mod so it is positive a by 1 and this gets reciprocal so it comes in the numerator so it is sin alpha into cos alpha so anything by 1 is the same thing so the answer will be p is equals to a sin alpha cos alpha and now in the question it is asked as 4p so we need 4 in order to get 4 multiplied by 2 on both sides multiply by 2 on both sides so it is 2p is equals to a into 2 sin alpha cos alpha 2 sin alpha cos alpha is sin 2 alpha it's a formula okay so in order to make this 2 4 what we should do squaring on both sides so 2 square is 4 and it is p square is equals to a square sine square 2 alpha this is the value of 4 p square okay now next q q is the perpendicular distance to the line this q is equals to perpendicular distance from origin 0 comma 0 to line x cos alpha minus y sin alpha is equals to is equals to a cos 2 alpha so q is equals to bringing this term there so it is x cos alpha minus y sin alpha it comes through that side so it is minus a cos 2 alpha equals to 0 so perpendicular formula again you have to apply so it is what is the formula a x1 plus b y1 plus c by root of a square plus b square so here again this is a term this is b and this is c this is x1 and y1 substitute so it is cos alpha into 0 plus sin alpha into 0 minus a cos 2 alpha 
by root of cos square alpha plus sin square alpha. So it is Q is equals to this becomes zero and this also zero. So left out is minus a cos two alpha by sin square theta plus cos square theta is one root one is one. And when we remove the mod, this becomes the positive. So the value of Q is equals to a cos two alpha. Now squaring on both sides, so it is Q square is equals to a square cos square two alpha. So the question says to prove the value of four p square plus q square. Okay, so four p square value is a square sine square two alpha plus q square value is a square cos square two alpha. Taking a square common, so sine square two alpha plus cos square two alpha. Okay. So sine square theta plus cos square theta is one. So a square into one is equals to a square. Therefore, we have proved that four p square plus q square is equals to a square. 